Hello, welcome to my live tutorial um, for Chalk Couture. I am going to do a, uh, a transfer called Life is Better on the Farm. And if you're watching this on YouTube, welcome to the replay. I am a little timid to do this big of a project just because I don't like messing up, but I will that that without a doubt will probably make a mistake. But the great thing about Chalk Couture is all you have to do is just uh, wipe it off and start over again. So you a mistake is just temporary. So thank you for watching, Jordan Boyd. Hello, Jordan. Robert. And anybody that's stopping by, going, what is this? This is not what I thought it was gonna be. Feel free to go on if this isn't for you. Um, won't mind at all. So, what is Chalk Couture, you ask? Well, Chalk Couture sells silk screen, adhesive back, reusable transfers, and chalk paste that goes on wet, dries hard, and comes off with water. We also sell Couture ink, which can also be used with our transfers, but stays permanent after heat setting. Our transfers, paste, and inks can be used on many different surfaces, which makes it super fun to design, love, and repeat. Um, DIY, uh, DIY for Halls and Walls of America. And for once again, for those coming on, thank you for coming on. Jenny, Danny, hello. So this is the transfer I'm gonna do, and it's called Life is Better on the Farm. And it comes in different pieces, so I'll start with this piece, this piece, and then place these ones around. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna mark my transfer. So when I'm done, I'm gonna put it back on this carrier sheet that it's on. So I wanna make sure I get it on the right um, side of the carrier sheet. So I'm gonna just put, since this is one, I'm gonna put one, two, um, three, four, five, six. And now I'm going to cut on these little lines right here that give us as a guide. And I'm going to do this on, I believe it's my 12 by 18 um, Grayson frame. I've marked the top up here with this blue painter's tape. This is to remind me that um, that is where the hook goes. Because <laughs> You know, it wouldn't be the first time I've done it upside down, so. I'm not real big at doing, I always try to get away with doing the littler transfers because I don't want to make a mistake, but that's what Chalk Couture is all about, is you can make mistakes and you can just start over again. Let's see. Hello, Sue. Hello, Jan. Welcome to my tutorial. Life is better on the farm. So we have a windmill, we have a barn, a silo. And I'm just cutting up these pieces. And the great thing about this is um, I'm gonna put down this one first when it comes to the windmill and up here are registration marks. So that helps me, so when I go to put the top on, um, I can just line up those registration marks and uh, it should all line up. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna mark the back of this. So this is gonna be for number one, put life is better on the farm. Oops. And mark the rest of them so I know which side. One side of the carrier sheet is dull and the other side is shiny and I wanna put it back on the shiny side. I'll write all the other stuff in later. Okay, now I want to line up 
where I want to put my pieces. I've already kind of picked out what chalk colors I am going to use, the paste colors. Okay, so I kind of want my barn, I think, right, right here. Who else? Uh, thank you guys for watching. I also have a new YouTube channel. <laughs> Don't ask me why, but um, you can always go over there and watch the replay. You guys can be some of the first people to um, be a subscriber if you'd like to watch these uh, more often. I don't know why you would. <laughs> Hello, Alicia. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I think I'm going to do it kind of like this. Where the words are going to be like right there. Have my windmill in the background a little bit. So, I think I'll start with the barn first, but I need to fuzz my transfer, and I'm going to start with this transfer first. So, let me find my fuzzing cloth right here. And the reason I fuzz this is because these are brand new um, uh transfer so it's very um, sticky the back the great thing about chalk couture is it's a silk screen so if you can see this it allows the paste to kind of lay down in that area and this is can be reusable up to 10 to 12 times depending on what you're putting it on the chalkboard you're gonna pr get probably more than 12 times if you clean it right and you take care of it. If you're gonna put it on a wood surface and it picks up a lot of debris, sometimes that could take um, a little bit of life out of it. And the great thing about this transfer is I can use this windmill. Well, I don't know where the other piece is, but I can use this windmill to go on um, like a canister or something like that. Corey Mayfield. Hi, Corey. You probably are going to be like, what the heck is she doing? Why am I on this? It's okay if you guys don't stay. Okay. I lost track of how many times I fuzz this, but this will just help it to come back up a little easier. And I want to make sure my barn isn't crooked because that would look good if the barn was crooked. Unless I just want to hang my thing sideways. Okay, so I'm going to get a ruler just to see. I didn't make it worse okay so now I want to make sure that this has a good um, contact to the surface so I'm going to use this squeegee four inch squeezy squeegee to get it to make sure it uh, makes contact now I'm going to use candy apple red but I want to make it kind of a um, darker barn. I don't want it to be so bright red. So I'm going to add some red right here. And then I'm going to add a little bit of my bark color. Just to kind of give it that dark, darker brown or darker red. I better set this over there. I think I'm going to add a little bit more. Okay. 
Okay, I think that's good. Put it on that. And so off the camera, you can't see, I have a water bath. And when I'm done with this, because I don't want to take up so much time, is I will put my transfer that has the paste on it. I'll put it inside that um, water bath to kind of um, keep it from drying in the screen. And then I have these little registration marks at the top. I'm gonna go ahead and mark these with white because the white, the bright white is the best way to see it. When you put it in red or something, it's kind of hard to see it on the chalkboard. So, or at least that's my experience. So if I do that now, I'll be ahead of the game. Okay, so. Let's see. Let me squeeze these. I've got all these pieces everywhere. want to go so super slow but I kind of need to get this paste on here and then um, so it doesn't dry in the transfer or in the silk screen and then it, if it dries in the silk screen it'll when I bring it up it will it won't uh, lay down on the pieces so I'm gonna go back and just uh, pick up my extra paste And anything that I go outside this, because I'm trying to go fast, it's fine. I can just uh, wipe it up. It's not permanent until I make it permanent. So I'll get that to the side. And then I'm going to get right off the end here. And I'm going to pull it up and put that in my water bath. Okay, so that I have to worry about that until I'm all done. So I'm gonna get my blow dryer. And blow dry this. of lives is here watching me I'm intimidated so ah. hi Justin okay now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna clean up uh, these little areas that I have uh, gone off the board which is not a big deal that's what's great about this And if I don't want to get too close, I have, I'm putting in my water bath over here. So if you're in my area, I'm looking for people that wants to would like to come over and do some chalking see if this is something you like i love this company and i'm trying to build my team so if you're uh stacy if you would like i can come to santa cruz area and show you <laughs> you just let me know our next month our new transfers coming in um have to do with flowers and i know how much you like flowers you're probably working with them now Okay, so 
while this is kind of making sure this is dry, I am going to go ahead and work on my uh, windmill. So I think I'm gonna do the first part and I'm gonna do this all in this bark color, brown. But I need to fuzz my transfer. Put that over there. What are you doing today, Stacy? All right, let me, so I just wanna make sure that this is easy to come up. And I'm gonna put my transfer right back here. So it's kind of in the background. I've never done this transfer before, so I'm not. Hopefully the layout will look good. Okay, now I'm gonna get my squeegee, my four inch squeegee, and I'm gonna make sure I have good contact again. And they give me these registration marks up here so I can line it up. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of bright white. Okay, so my daughter could love this. Yes, Corey, your daughter would love this. How old is she? We have little great, I mean, depending on the age, uh, we have great transfer or transfers that might be kind of cute. We have a superhero one. Um, like little cute chick, just depending on their age. Okay, so I am going to get my small squeegee. And let me make sure that this was all going to be in the brown. Yes. Hope you guys can see this. I wanted to be able to see people's comments. Okay, so that right there. I'm just gonna get one end and then walk it over and then pull it from the top. I don't really want to. I don't ever want to pull it diagonally, so I don't stretch it. So I'm gonna put that in my water bath, and I'm gonna blow dry this. Scarpa. Rodney. <laughs> Hi Rodney. <laughs> okay so now that I've done that and I'm going to let that dry just a little bit more I am going to move on to life is better on the farm at the bottom. So I want to see how to Okay, so I think we're right about there. But once again, I have to fuzz this.
So this is a crafting video for Chalk Couture. So you might be going, what is she doing? <laughs> so it's a direct sales company, which I love. So it's crafting. And um, every season they come out with new transfers. And then um, we just had a catalog release for uh, like Mother's Day, Father's Day. Uh, there's some flowers. I, I have it on my, I posted on my Facebook. And now I'm going to try to line this up. And I think they're up there is good. So first I'm going to do this one and I'm going to make sure it's on there. And I have bright white. And my squeegee. It has a distressed look. So if I mess up a little bit on this, it picks up. It doesn't matter because it has a little distressing in the farm lettering. So I put my paste back in, the unused paste. All right, so let me show you so far what it looks like. So we just uh, put down the bottom layer of the, the barn and we're gonna have the silo is gonna be right here. This is the windmill. And I'm gonna dry this just a little bit before I put uh, the life is better right here. That way it doesn't pick up uh, this paste. Janet Lewis. I'm thinking Janet Lewis, you're the lady who is a military mom. I think that's right. You came to our Blue Star Mom meeting, which tonight we have a Blue Star Mom meeting. If I'm thinking, is that the right Janet Lewis? <laughs> Let me know. Okay, so now I'm going to try to line this. I'll put it right. I want it down. Okay, I think I need to raise this up a little bit. So I'm currently looking for team members. So if you like this or you want to see what this is about, you just want to be a customer, I would love to have you on my team as a customer or as a designer. And as a designer, you're going to be able to get things at uh, a big discount. And I can tell you more about that. Okay, so now I've got my white. I am going to use one of my smaller squeegees. And for those of you that might not have heard me before, if I make a mistake, all I have to do is add water um, and just a rag to get it off and I'm good to go again. Oh, 
All right, I'll show you that. That looks really good. Like that so far. Let me see, Kaylin, hello, Julie, hello. Okay, so I'm gonna dry this. So that way when I go to put this transfer on, for whatever reason, I don't hit that area. which I know you are, um, I'm gonna come do a come chalk with me night. So if you'd like to come over and try this out, I would love to have you guys. You would only have to pay for uh, the board that you use. And um, let me see the board, what else would there be? I'm not really charging for the paste colors and things like that, just what you use. And you get to use my transfer, so you don't have to buy that cost either. Hello, Heidi. This is a Chalk Couture video tutorial of Life is Better on the Farm. Now this is going to go on top of the red barn I already put down. And this is just going to give it definition. I'm going to put use this uh, fresh linen on uh, the outside of the barn. And I'm going to use Storm, which is a gray color on the silo. And I really want to get this fuzzed up because when I put it on top of that red, I don't want that to uh, lift up any of the um, paste I've already put down on the layering. So I have to always like to make sure it's good and dry, but I'm gonna put it on my jeans right here and that will really give it um, a lot of, uh, I don't know, material to keep it from sticking. I mean, it'll stick down to the, to the board I just don't want it to stick and pull up the paste that's already on there. So now I want to line it up using those little registration marks at the top. And I need just to be able to see this. Where's it at? Right there. Thank goodness for these guides. And I gotta hope I have it right. And I don't even see where, oh, cause it's only supposed to be, wait a minute, I gotta check this. Okay, cause like I said, I haven't done this transfer before. So I haven't worked out all the little 